Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series in Hacknet. Now I spotted this game a little while ago and I remember thinking that concept is effing cool. Now I'm going to let the game talk for itself, I'm not actually going to uh, tell you anything about the concept and also I haven't played this before so this is going to be a completely blind playthrough and we're just going to learn together. Username, uh, root negative, password, password, confirm pass, password, ready, press enter to confirm. Fourteen day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. What? complete. Launching tutorial. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP or by clicking on a node on the network. Connect to your own computer. So it's going to be... Scan this computer now. Scan network. That should be all you'll need from your ser own server for now. Disconnect from your own machine. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act 1030 AC. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking the no. This is the enabled ink. This is VM's terminal module. This VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer to computer's security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe for nmap command. Nmap. Oops. Here you can see the active ports, active security and the number of open ports required to successfully cr crack this machine using port hack. Has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to, to it is possible to crack this program using the program port hack. You've now taken control of an external system and are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it, however you should start by scanning for local nodes. Scan. No results, not a problem. Next you should investigate the file system. List the files and folders in the current directory. Navigate to the bin folder. To search for useful executables using the command cd folder name, note the space. So it's going to be cd bin. To view the contents of the current folder you are in, use the command ls. I would assume that's list. 
These are no pro there are no programs here, but you should look at config.txt. Totally useless. Move to the log folder, so that's CD log. Delete all files in this directory. You can remove everything. And DC for disconnect. You have completed this guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. Well, let's take a hint. The command PS will list the PID of every. Okay, so PS. It's 158, so I would assume it's kill 158. contact. I don't know you and I'm sad to say that I never will but if you if you're reading this it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped there is no way out and not enough time and I need your help but there's something you need to take care of first the faster the better. Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now after a while an automated tracker will activate itself we can't let that happen. Connect to your own node, it should be green on your netmap. Net then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. Okay, so well, let's go here. So we want to remove securitytracer.exe. Ooh, no, it's not fine. Not found. How is it not found? Is it um, perhaps? Well, is it funny if it's um, case sensitive? It is case sensitive. There you go. <laughs> Things we learn, huh? Now I suspect that the music is still a little bit loud. Okay, so now we just need to reply to that email. Getting some tools together. Great, that should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone just isn't going to cut it. On most modern computers you'll find not ones with anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful I know, he's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. Should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can, f you can for the most part, ignore the generic files. Stuff that gets logged or saved by program IRC logs and the like. Custom named things like EXE files are what you want to look out for. Download any files you can using the command SCP. Good luck. Reply again when you're done. So we need to connect to this computer. So I would assume that it's 106, 49, 215. Um, was it connect? I really wasn't paying attention. Uh huh. So now we can probe. Is it probe? Okay, so we just port hack. And this should get us into his computer. Bidding! How good is that? So we want to uh, scan the network, so I think that's scan. 
Okay, we found another computer as well. Entropy Asset Cache. Now we want to view the file system. SSH crack. So I think it was SCP. Not enough arguments. Um, SCP star. File does not exist. Okay, what about SCP? SSH crack.xe. Complete wonderful. Nothing in there. Log home. YouTubers.txt. Huh. I feel I wish I could edit that <laughs> and add root negative in. Anyway, let's go to the log. Let's uh, remove all. And then we want to disconnect. Getting some tools together, that's the one we wanted. Maiden Flight. Congratulations, I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. But if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had this, the sort of thing he's known f for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember, any non-basic programs, you need a port number to run like this. Okay, file name, port number. Okay, just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't already know, you can hit tab to Autocomplete commands, hitting SSH, then tab should autocomplete it to the full name, etc. works for everything. Okay, so we need to go after um, which one is it? Well, okay. So we want to connect to 206 111 88 139. Okay, so we'll probe the system. Okay, so we've got port 22, so if we go SSH tab crack uh, on port, oh it was 22 wasn't it, port 22, okay that didn't work. Let's go back to those instructions if we can for a second, uh, this is, okay, just 22. I clicked off the screen. Silly me. Can we get, can we come, come back here? Can we? Um. Well, well we let, let's probe again. So it should be um, just, just twenty two. Shell crack, there we go. There we go, we resolved it. There we go, so now we can port hack. So we've opened the port. Nice word found. So let's, uh, let's scan. I don't think there was much. Uh, I don't think there's much going on there. Let's let's have a look at the uh, file system. It doesn't look like there's anything here. Remove everything and then we'll disconnect. Mm -hmm. 
Use a pro probe to see what ports are open, target one with the program and target the correct port. Breaking sufficient ports leaves the target vulnerable. Okay, nice. Something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favour. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and remove the whole thing. Okay. Delete all files in the target. Command remove deletes every file. Yeah, okay. Use it carefully. So let's uh, connect up to the um, this here. P. Anderson's bedroom six. 96 209 16 Probe. Okay, we need We need to crack that port the secure shell port Now we can port hack Ah, we win. I don't think there was anything there. Seems like it's okay. Let's just remove all. Then we'll disconnect. Nope. Send <laughs> email. Where to from here? Alright, if you see this, then you've done well. And well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I've realised that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy. It's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells open using the command shell. Running on computers you've already got access on should be able to overload it. Okay, I almost forgot. If you run into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archive server too. Okay, run shells on computers you have admin access to with shell. Connect to a target computer, probe its security. Use the shells to overload target proxy. We'll have more details. Okay. I think we can do that. 